ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And hey, we're in the city for once. Yeah. And we're not killing everyone, which feels kind of odd. Well, in typical Dutch Vandal and gang fashion, in the face of impending doom, we once again put some miles between us and civilization, which doesn't make much sense because we are now in the very heart of the new world civilization. Cities with smog and coal and horses and, and trolleys. I mean, this is not what we're trying to do. <laughs> Arthur's like, oh my God, man, I'm so tired. I should probably eat. This is not at all what we were trying to, uh, I guess, go to or be a part of some holy promised land of, uh, I don't know, milk and honey, freedom, the wild, wild west, no law, no anything. I don't, honestly, I have no idea what Dutch wants to do and why everyone's following him, but heh, whatever, what can you do? All right, so we're now in the city and uh, I think we need to consult the map and see exactly what is up, okay? Oh, that's right. So we're trying to find Jack. I forgot about that. So uh, we have this guy over here. We can talk to him. Wait, what? There's two of them. Dutch needs you to ask around in public places for information on Angelio Bronte. Probably said that name terribly wrong, which I always do. But uh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's head this way through the back dark alley. Ooh, since there's a lot of hooligans back here. Howdy, boys. Hey. Hey, you! You ain't supposed to be here. What you gonna do about it, huh? Got caught in the ears? Get out! Hey, 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 you, you, you wanna get your face smashed in? problem? Huh? What's up, peasant? You, you wanna fight me? I got a mountain man beard. You don't want any of this. You hear me? Yeah? Somebody, get out! Yeah, get, get out of here. Get out. This is, you know what? This is my side of town. This is my dark alleyway. That's right, scat, boys! <laughs> I'm not actually a uh, an outlaw if I'm not doing outlaw things. What the hell? Why is there a palm tree here? And a run down one as well. Okay, where am I going? I'm already confused. <laughs> I hate this thing known as a city, man. God damn. Normally, I just get on my horse and ride in one direction until I find people. Ooh. Hey, look at the choo-choo train. And all that pollution. Man, this game looks so good. I love it. The graphics on PC, mm, one point. Okay, time for me to go down here and find out exactly. Whoa, I know, right? I'm ugly, Jesus Christ. Find out exactly where Jack's gone. Ooh, a church? Real talk though, I feel like living in a city back before there was such a thing as, you know, sanitation, uh, keeping things clean would have been a nightmare, especially trying to live in a city where there are also horses as the main form of transportation. I mean, you step out of your house and, oh look, my foot's in a pile of horse manure. That would not have been fun. Not at all. Plus, back in the day, I'm sure there were not standards for how homes were built or how they were kept up, you know? I know they had tenement buildings back in the day that were full of rats and feces and garbage. No actual plumbing. It would have been terrible. All right. We have a square. And of course, <laughs> they have the gallows. Why would they not have the gallows? Hello there, sir. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Bronte. Hmm, nope. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you kindly, sir. You just chilling by the gallows? Normal day? Okay. All right, I can respect it. My man does not fear death. In fact, he's waiting on it. That's the only form of excitement he probably gets in this very run-down, dirty city. Oof. Can I actually hitch a ride on here? Oh, okay. Wow. I can definitely smash into it face first. That works. All right, where's Bronte at? What would he want with a boy? Well, if he's a pedophile, <laughs> I already know the answer to that. But I mean, like, why would he want to take just one child? Who am I supposed to talk to? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, the saloon. I'm so stupid. What? Stick him up, cowboy. That's a nice gun you've got there. <laughs> Dutch! Yeah, Jesus funny, Christ. Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very <laughs> own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. 
So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. I could probably use a bath. Definitely, I need a bath. And they're all like, whoa! Where did this guy crawl out of? Sorry, boys, I've been living with the pigs. That's right. Sorry about that. Oof. Funny you, should say that. you catch that body odor? Anyone got some cologne or something? God damn. Your boy needs a bath. America's dirty little French secret. That's why we love it. Born and raised. Well, howdy, bartender. I'm never leaving. I'll get you in a second. Fair enough. Right now! <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Hmm. Now, how can I help? I'll have all the whiskey, thank you. Uh, order whiskey. No, no, no. Give me a crate. My liver shot. I need more than that. Oh, come on now. Seriously, that's it? That, that, that's nothing. That, that, that's just going to wet the taste buds. Give me an entire bottle. Two dollars for a shot? Oh, you're scamming people, my man. Wait, what just happened? Me, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Oh, he's serious. All right, well, no one wants to talk about this Bronte fellow. Bronte? Oh. Angelo Bronte. I stand Mr. corrected. Big, Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. <laughs> it really makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? No. Where can I find him? Oh. Well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Well, I've been acquainted with those kids in the alley. Oh, They're rude! Friend, you, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Sure, 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 sure. Whatever you say, my man. Whatever you say. Little does he know I'm the one that's not to be trusted. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, where are those little snotty-nosed kids at? Boys! Oh, this doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Oh, you nauseated. Right. You're, you're about to be nauseated. very nauseated here in a moment. Okay. Well, maybe I can talk to these guys. Hello. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. You guys don't have very many uh, pedophiles go through here, huh? When a man so with a beard like this asks a question like that, you should not answer. No, 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 no. He didn't even ask why I wanted to find these kids. I guess people back then were very trusting. Okay, courtyard. Oh, here they are. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Let's buy bread. Here. Come on. Nice this bowl way. haircut. Let's oh, never go, mind. mister. You come and clean. I was about to say. That's a terrible haircut. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry, no one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Clearly. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. This kid's giving me a tour. To Toulouse, <laughs> no. We're he knows it all. Here, mister. Ain't that this or nothing? My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. 
Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Okay, what's happening here? So fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Oh, I see what's happening. Hey. Yeah, you really thought that was gonna work, huh? Get Come going. here, you brat. Come here. Us. Can I just shoot him? That'd be a lot easier. Oh man, they're hauling it. God damn. Oh, oh, he fell off or jumped off. I don't know what he did. He's an idiot though. Oh, <laughs> watch out for the trolley, kid. Oh, seriously? I'm not fast enough. You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna steal this horse. Come on. Already causing trouble, but it's okay. I've got to get that that bag back. It's got all, all of my uh, personal belongings. You know what I'm saying? Man, that thing is hauling ass. God damn! I did not realize trolleys were that fast. You give that back. She. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Watch out, Mister. Bastard got off. Oh. oh damn. That was a big mistake. Oh shit! What the hell was that? <laughs> Thanks for the help, friend. Where'd he go? You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tate. Come on! Oh, Keep there going. he is. Where are you going, kiddo? I'm going to twist your giant ears off. That's what's about to happen. Damn, he can run. Oh, I know that adrenaline's kicking in. A mountain man like me with a big beard? I'm about to beat your ass, kid. Oh, really? Let's break the lock. Come on. Chop, chop. Hi. Just uh, breaking a lock here. Jeez. Oh, sorry, lady. Sorry about that. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, she got scared. Just give it up, farm boy. She should try out for American Ninja Warrior. She jumped that wall basically. Oh, where are you going, kid? You're gonna fall and break your neck. You know that, right? Oh, come here. There we go. Bastard. I was just playing. Give me my things back. Get off me, mister. I was just playing. I'm a good boy. I wash. Give me my things. Here. Bronte. At home. Where? Uh, big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Okay. Man, he has got some ears on him. Welcome to San Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Shoot him. Get along. Just shoot him. Shoot him for having big ears. His ears are bigger than mine, and that's saying a lot. I bet he can hear all the way from here to China. Good lord. All right, well, that's, uh, that's a friendly greeting to the town. Had to chase a kid down, nearly beat him just to get my stuff back. Okay, all right, I see how it's going to be. Yeah, all right, that's cool, that's cool. You know what, just for that, pop, mister. Yeah, that's right, someone's got to get an ass whooping for that. Pop. Uh, sit your ass down. Uh, I've got plenty of uh, honor, so it's all good. I mean, I know I probably shouldn't have done that. I know, I know, but look, look, someone had to get an ass beating for that. Your boy's not very fond of cardio. Can I get my picture taken? Hold up, what's down here? I swear that's a uh, a marker on the map of an old time camera. I'm not sure. Can't go this way. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's get back to uh, wherever this is over here. Destination and uh, see what's up. Again, I'm so impressed with the graphics. What I really can't wait for is Grand Theft Auto 6. When that comes out, oh man, I can only imagine the amount of detail and time they're going to put into it. Rockstar Studios really knows how to make a quality game. Incredible. Also, I think the thing that makes this game seem so realistic is the fact that it's alive. Like, there's there's so many people that are sprinting for whatever reason in random directions. That, yeah, that's cool. Whereas most games, it's like you have this huge landscape and then it's not populated by NPCs. They just, you know, it, they leave the whole world kind of empty and boring. Taking a rest, are we? Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire. Anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. All right. I don't know why getting one kid back is that important. I mean, we lost Sean and 
No one seems to care. <laughs> I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. City. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, mm. and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Again, I'm not sure exactly what the plan is. I mean, I'm sure Dutch has a master plan somewhere in his head, but if he does, he's not telling us. Good morning, sir. Ooh, a baking company, assorted biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, you look like a thug. I'm sorry, man. Oh, I can't get over that woman that just vaulted over the wall like that. <laughs> she was not playing any games. All right, let's check the map. What do we have? Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Dutch and John plan to meet you in the park opposite Mr. Bronte's house. Okay, well, let's go. Let's do it. And instead of me rambling on forever, I will be right back. Whoa, what's over here? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Sure. This is intri uh, intriguing. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute. I Bonjour, promise. Monsieur. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. $20. I, <laughs> I wish you luck, but I can't help you. That was a funny joke. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real funny. <laughs> Twenty dollars. You, you can shove that cannon up your butt. Twenty dollars, my ass. I'm a, I'm a broke outlaw, sister. I ain't got twenty dollars. I mean, actually, if I'm being hundred percent honest, I got four thousand dollars. But she doesn't have to know that. Ooh, this is a nice little park. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired Europeans. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Sure. This is the place. <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Mmm. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh, oh! Uh, you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. That was a uh, slick move. Now, how did you not see that coming? Now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Mm, oh, I believe you. Howdy, gents. We're here to charm you. Off to a great start. Whoa, oh, oh shit, what the hell? We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Hmm. I don't like that teleportation shit. What, 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 what's that all about? Man, we are really not dressed to be here in the city at all. Everyone's got fancy suits and bowler hats. Meanwhile, we look like we're about to do some ranching somewhere. <laughs> and we haven't bathed in a while, clearly. They oh. Relaxing, are we? Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son. We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Charming. Very charming, Dutch. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Well, damn! <laughs> Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country 
folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> that is a very still woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> that worked. Dutch Vanderlyn. <laughs> Arthur Moore. We're all scumbags. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Huh? John Marston. <laughs> all mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> we probably should have so, had a bat, though. Uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> uh, See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Wow, I can't believe that worked. I guess you can charm someone when you're both scumbags, right? Well, it looks like we are now in the mob, right? They, they, they seem like mobsters, if I'm being honest. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just. Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. I have a feeling this is going to go horribly wrong. I mean, has anything gone right? I don't think so. Since we've pretty much started the game, it's all okay. been going downhill. I think this is it. Keep it down. Ooh. Let's hit you. This is kind of ahead. spooky looking. <laughs> oh yeah, very scary. I'm gu I'm guessing this is like the ghettos version of the old cities from the Wild West. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, man. I should shut up. What are you doing? What? Let's leave the horses here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to talk to my viewers, goddammit. And, but not doing a good job of it. Ooh, the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. This part of town looks very unsafe. Remind me, at some point, I need to go clothes shopping. If I'm gonna be in the big city, I need to look like I belong in the big city. This way. Oh, of course, the cemetery. This would look creepy, right? Very creepy. Whoa! Where are you going? Let's see what's going on in here. Was she robbing the graves? There's no way. She took off running, though. I mean, to be fair, if someone was in a quiet, we don't want to spook them. All right, whatever you say, man. If I was in a graveyard and I saw another person in the dead of night, I would book it too. Never know, it could be a poltergeist. Oh shit! A witch? A demon? You don't know? 
Locate the source of the disturbance. Hold on. What? Oh, it's a puppy dog. Shh. Shh. Hey there, boy. Aw, it's a little cute puppy dog. Hey, buddy. Man, I wish I could have a pet in this game. Oh, what? Oh, what the hell? What is she doing? And why can't I run? Right. Gotta keep looking. I wonder why people would be in a... Oh, is this open? Why would people be in a graveyard in the middle of the night? Looks like someone beat us to it here. I mean, obviously they're Wait. grave robbing, duh, What's but that? I mean... Other than grave robbing, why would you be in a graveyard in the middle of the Wait night? Stop. Shush. Oh, I think we found him. Are you guys desecrating a uh, a grave? No, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, no, it's just a drunk. I had a bit to drink. My friend died. Oh, just real sad, yeah. Your friend died. Oh no, boo hoo. Hey, us, no one cares. They're still with us. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Good. Let's just walk normal. Man, this place is busy. Shh, hold up. I had no I idea a graveyard would be so blood. busy in the middle of the night. Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. I think it came from around here somewhere. Oh. Hey, John. Over here. Well, now, Get what's happening car, here? And we'll bust the door in. <laughs> All right, let's do it. If there's zombies, I'm screaming and running. Just so you know. You boys found my puppies watching. Huh? Oh, it's an ambush. Okay. What? This place is so busy. God damn. Everyone's here. You're dead. Oh, shit. All right, missed that one. Come on, boys. I hear there's some vacancies around. Yeah, Graveyard's got a few vacancies. Real nice hole to be buried in. You guys should apply for it. Oh, this guy won. You had a very good application, sir. You got picked. That's right. Oh, hello. And we got another visitor. Oh, no, nope, never mind. He, oh, that's that's John. Permanent. Per oh, shit. I got tackled. Bro, this ain't football. Get off me. I'm about to put you in the ground. There we go. You like that? Yeah, come here. There we go. I'm tackling you back, buddy. I'm going to put you six feet under. Mm. John, okay? Oh, shit. Oh, God. I clobbered him like a bear. <laughs> well, let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. All right, search the grave robber stash. Oh, wrong way. Oh, my hat, of course. Can't leave this. Again, I need we new can't clothing. Go back to Bronte with nothing to show for. All right, man, shut up. With your hoarse voice. All right, uh, where were we? Oh, that is so creepy. I think there might be something in here. <laughs> Robber stash. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Ugh, I couldn't Shit. imagine. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. All right, let's go. Let's go around the side. We're already in trouble. <laughs> We've been here for like what? Five hours and we're already in trouble with the law potentially. All right, John, I'm waiting on you. We're in the clear. Let's go. Yes. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. With pleasure. Whoa, Come on, that place girl. was creepy. I would not want to be a grave robber. That has to be the worst job ever. It's not a job, it's a, I don't know, a hobby, a terrible hobby. Obviously they were doing it for money, but I mean, think about it, if you're gonna do a crime, I'd rather rob someone, a living human. I couldn't even imagine staking out a graveyard site and being like, oh, a fresh body. 
I'll go in the middle of the night and dig them up and hope they've got jewelry. Why? Oh, that's disgusting. There's easier ways to be a thief, my man. Poor woman, you never know. I mean, there was a crazy old woman running around the uh, graveyard. Maybe she was a grave robber too. All right. All right, let's get this done. Yes, please, let's get this done. There's no way they give us Jack for that. I mean, well, that was just too easy. You took your time. Jack, where's your host? Like I okay, said, I stand you corrected. Took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Well, I think it's time I need a bath. I mean, I needed a bath a long time ago before now, but I'm Let's going go. to a party. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're Eat gonna bath. love it. Oh. And new clothing. Yeah. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my. What's wrong with my lantern? It's so squeaky. Oh, with the big bed and a toy box and lots of books did they do anything to you have you ever had spaghetti what what's that <laughs> that's so sad it's food it looks like worms but it's delicious is that right papa bronte teach me lots of italian words don't call him that please you know cavallo that means horse no that's and so sad Cantafola? that's a slipper a slipper they gave me two pairs, one for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Feels oh, bad. Yeah. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Damn, that's so sad. He was kidnapped and had more fun being kidnapped than being with his own parents. <laughs> you had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Easy. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. Mm-hmm. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! We're right there next to him. Abigail! I think I see Jack! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! What are I those clothes he's wearing? They fed me good. Jack, it's take those clothing. <laughs> take that clothing you off. That is embarrassing. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. He's not going to grow up to be an outlaw. Jack, nope. He's basically wearing a dress with a bow tie. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John? You go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. It's like no thank one you. even remembers Sean. We just lost Sean. No <clears throat> one actually cares about anyone, do they? I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. 
Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Aw, Arthur doesn't have a family, though. <laughs> oh, shit, I just made $461 and $123. I don't even know how much money I just made. Honestly, I could care less. I've got $4,500 plus a little bit extra. What is that? I'm not sure. Either way, I've got plenty of money. And everyone seems very excited. I can't get over the fact no one cares that Sean died. I mean, was it just me? Am I the only one that actually liked the character Sean? He had that really cool personality that can only come from someone that's, you know, Irish. I think he was Irish, or was he Scottish? I don't know, he was something like that. But he was really cool, and now he's gone, and no one cares. But we get one boy, one boy back, that's wearing a dress and a bow tie. I know it's not a dress, but everyone's happy, and they're singing, and eh, whatever. I guess no one really misses uh, the hardened, ugly men when they die. Just the little kids and the ladies, right? God forbid one of these ugly women get kidnapped. Oh, okay, never mind. This is kind of a party. I think I'll sit down and join in. The calm before the storm. I have a feeling tomorrow will bring new, terrible things. But for now, we're just going to drink and sit around a fire. Oh boy. We're living the good life. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for rambling so much. I have way too much energy. I really need to try and record these videos when I'm just a little bit more tired. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm loving this game so far. The atmosphere is incredible. The story is incredible. The characters are just amazingly detailed. And uh, maybe by the end of this year, I'll have finished the game. Who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out.